This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Copeland Visuals. Today, we're talking about them camera dials that are going to let you take control of your camera. Let's get into the video. Okay, so the first dial that I want to talk about is the manual dial, the little M. This is my all-time favorite mode. If I could only have one mode, this would be it because it does everything. Now, you have to understand that in order to shoot in this mode, it's going to have to take a, a lot of practice. You're going to have to learn a lot about your camera. You're going to have to learn about how your camera works. And you can't just pop into this mode and start shooting. You can't just push the shutter down once you go into this mode. This is, is, it takes a lot of work. You have to manually set your exposure every single time. If you don't know what your exposure is, it's how light and or dark your camera is. So you have to adjust the shutter speed, which is how, how long the, uh, the, the sensor is exposed to light. You're gonna have to adjust your aperture, which is how big the lens opens to. Some lenses have different higher apertures than others. And the last thing you're gonna have to adjust is the ISO, which is how sensitive your sensor is to light. You're gonna have to adjust all of those things every single time you take a picture because the light is always changing. But it's gonna give you so much more creative flexibility that it's totally, totally worth it. But if you say to yourself, well, that would take just way too long. I just, I, I wanna have some control, but at the same time, I, I, I I don't want to have to fiddle with my exposure every single time. Well, that's aperture value. Aperture value, I shoot in the most because it changes everything else. It changes your shutter speed, but everything else stays the same. So if you're out shooting, let's just say you're shooting uh, some flowers and you don't, you want the background blurry. Well, you can turn down your aperture, which means the lens is going to open up wider. It's going to let in more light. It's also going to create a shallower depth of field, which is going to make that background blurry. So it allows you to take control of your camera, but you still don't have to worry about your exposure changing every single time. I shoot in this mode the most just because it gives you creative flexibility, but at the same time, it doesn't stop you from shooting to have to change your exposure every single time. The next thing I want to talk about is time value. What this is going to be good for is when you're shooting sports, that sort of thing. It's going to allow you to uh, get the highest shutter speed possible so that your background, if, if, you're, if your subject is moving, it's not going to be blurry. So this is going to stop down your aperture all the way and it's going to kind of crank up your ISO a little bit so that you get a nice crisp background. So if you're shooting handhelds and you're shooting something like sports, this could be a good option. So the next one I want to talk about is auto depth of field. What auto depth of field does is it changes your aperture for you. Now this does kind of cut down on your creative flexibility because aperture is one of the most creative things that can change your photo or your video, but it, it, it is it is pretty cool. Uh, if you, it'll, it'll tell you what the camera thinks should be your depth of field, which basically means how shallow or large your focus is. So let's say you're shooting um, a cliff. It's going to turn your depth of field to somewhere in the middle so that the whole entire cliff is in focus, but whatever is behind the cliff isn't also in focus completely. It may be a little bit in focus, but not really. Let's say you're shooting a flower. Hopefully, it's going to blur the background completely so that all you see is the flower. So try these modes out. If you don't like them, you can also try the other auto modes, which they'll, they'll tell you what they are. They're different for every single camera. Um, some universal ones is, the, of course, the flower, which is the macro mode, which basically, it, it, like I said, it, it blurs the background. Um, there's also the mountain mode, which is going to make everything in focus. There's the sports mode, which just is basically time value. All that stuff is also there, but each camera is different. I'm not gonna go over those because uh, 
like I said, each camera's different. So if you did enjoy this episode and if it helped you learning about your camera just a little bit, like and subscribe down below. See you in the next video. I'm going to edit this.